Hey guys, it's Nana again. Hopefully I'll be uploading more and more videos. I'll be having something called a Makeup Monday where I'll just do whatever makeup you guys choose to give me in the comments down below and hopefully I'll be able to uh, get to those as soon as possible. What I'm doing today, if you can yeah, if you can't see what's going on here, I'm doing snake makeup or any sort of lizard reptilian type person. You can use this for like mermaids or anything like that. There's scales involved and there's also liquid latex involved which is kind of dangerous if you have a latex allergy. This is what the kind I have looks like. It's Ben Nye, it's liquid latex. What I recommend first for you to do is try a little patch on maybe the back of your hand or something along those lines because then you'll be able to see am I allergic to this? If you've never worked with latex before it's kind of icky and gooey and it doesn't smell really awesome but what you're gonna ch hold on one sec <laughs> sorry that made everything better um, what you're gonna try to want to do is <laughs> work with it in an area where you don't mind messing stuff up so if you have something that is worthwhile to you try to put it in another room or far away from the latex because if it gets onto clothes it's not really fun to get off but once you're done using it like this is the petri disc that I use you can just peel it of the ah, it looks awesome that is just that's not disgusting at all what you can really do is just make these scales out of latex if you can see they're kind of popping up out of my skin this is for the LARP character that I have named Lucky she is a snake kin which is essentially a snake person like we have dog kin cat kin and stuff at seventh kingdom and this is her look. You can change the look however, and I'm going to go through the video and show you step by step how I got this look, and you can tweak it however you want to for your characters. Okay, so without any further ado, we're going to get right into it. To start this project off right, what you're going to want to do is have a fresh face, so that means washing your face with a, an acne cleaner or something like that to essentially close your pores up, or you can just use one of those facial towelettes if you're not in the vicinity of a bathroom, because usually at LARP times we're not. So just clean your face as well as you can. Try to close those pores because we're going to be using lots and lots and lots of makeup. That's what liquid latex does to a normal paintbrush. It's not good. This is what we're going to try to get. Something that's a little bit thicker and that is what we're going to put our liquid latex in. You're most likely going to use a lot more than you really need and it's probably going to show and you're going to find out halfway through. But you can just scoop it back, in, back into the bottle and you should be fine. I'm just outlining where the scales are going to be. You can either draw it on there, maybe with like a liquid eyeliner pencil or something along those lines. And this is what we're going to use to cover our eyebrows. Just a normal everyday glue stick. Mine was a little bit dried out at the time, but if you want to cover your eyebrows, and I should have mentioned this earlier, ladies, it sounds gross, but you're probably either going to have to shave or wax your face for this. Taking off that latex is not fun when you've got all those little hairs attached to them. So after we cover our eyebrows and coat them pretty much with the eyebrow coater, we're going to want to go right into painting our faces with the liquid latex. I make my scales towards the top of my head a little bit larger and irregular in shape because I didn't want Lucky to have any uniform way. If you can find some sort of like texture maker or template, I want you to go for it because that would probably look awesome. And that's something that I can't do. So if this inspires you in any way, I'd love to see your stuff and what you've come up with in the comments. You can send a reply video. Basically just go in and create your own design where you want the scales to be. Don't worry if after a while they seem to disappear into your skin because that's just what liquid latex does when there's a thin coat on it. So just go right in there and try to get as uniform as possible when it comes to the thickness and how much you apply onto there because some of them are going to look really bulbous and some of them are going to look really flat. So just go right along your cheekbones because you know snakes don't have faces that contour like ours but I tried doing sort of how a snake has those very very flat scales on their nose but it didn't really work out for me especially when I'm moving around and running around at Seventh Kingdom. So. Just try your best, try it out a few times, see what works for you, and then we'll be able to move on. Once you've covered your entire face with the liquid latex, we're going to want to blow dry it. It's not fun, but it gets the job done a lot quicker than just waiting there. Just put it on the cool setting, go over your face as evenly as you can, and just go right back into it and do another coat of liquid latex. If you can't find out where you put the first dots, just kind of move your head 
and see where it's most shiny and then more blow drying and then go right back in and something that I didn't do I was supposed to start out when you do the coat over you're supposed to do it the exact same way that you put it down the first time that way everywhere else gets a, a chance to dry off but I didn't do that because uh, I wasn't thinking at all whatsoever and right here it kind of dips low because that's just the natural pattern that liquid latex wants to go if you just fill in where the liquid latex is less it'll kind of match up with where it is kind of bulbous like right there you can just go over it with a very thin coat and then try to just fill in those other parts and then so don't do that don't do that that's a bad idea this is how you tear latex off your face and it's not good for anyone and the next step is to coat your entire face in green. You're going to want to use one of a sponge that's probably not years old. Put it in some aqua color. I'll tell you what color and what kind down in the bottom. And just coat your face as evenly as possible, just like I did pretty much in the, the, uh, the troll video. Coat your face as much as possible with a water and aqua color mix. Go over every bit of skin. I'm not going to be doing my neck in this video, but you're more than welcome to with your character coat over as much as you can get all the nooks and crannies especially near your eyes and then go over the other eye sweet so now your entire face is green that's what we want now we want to coat in yellow because there's gonna be some highlights especially with a snake's face like I was talking about before their faces aren't like ours so we're gonna to have to contour our face to make it so it's a little bit more angular so go over your cheekbones and your nose and try to make your nose look as visibly flat as possible. It's kind of hard for me. I've got kind of a, a little schnoz going on there, but use the other side, the part that's not wet of the sponge, and go over and kind of like stipple it so that way it blends a little bit more. It's a trick I learned when I was very young and very experimental. So just go over again, make sure everything blends nicely, especially with the yellow and the green everything's gonna seem wet right now it's gonna seem splotchy but just give it a little bit to dry and it should be okay those areas that I'm pointing out is where you should put a little bit of a darker color maybe a darker green I unfortunately didn't have any on me but just try to work those highlights as much as you can and then the next step what we're gonna do is put more and more highlights especially of that yellow because we want it to pop more and more highlights it's highlight town and then we'll just try to do our lips real quick that brown lipstick I'm gonna be using as the liner uh, I dropped it and we're gonna go right in and just line our lips in a darker color you don't have to do this step but this is what lucky looks like so I wanted to do a representation of what my character looks like that way you can guys can give some ideas of how you want your character to look like so I'll just line my lips in that really creamy dark brown which I think contrasts against the green pretty cool and then go in with a red stain uh, that stain is by I believe uh, I think it's called super stay and it's by lip color or maybe it's Maybelline but anyhow it's a really really good stain and I just blend it to make that kind of dark green brown color because I don't want it to pop too much and look kind of natural against it and then we're going to outline our scales in either a dark brown eyeshadow I would recommend or some sort of cream that way it'll blend really nicely and then we're just gonna outline all of our scales because that way it'll make it pop even more we already did those highlights so now the viewer is going to see our highlights set against the dark lights and it's gonna make those scales pop even more now don't worry about you kinda see how that there's a brown streak right across my face don't worry about that because we're gonna fix that later but just go in as much as you can and don't don't go over every single scale start out a whole bunch of highlighting towards the edges of your face and then just don't really do it towards the middle of your face because you want it to give that illusion of this part is better so like I said about that brown streak we're just gonna go right over with a red I'm sorry with a green and yellow mix and just paint on the scales instead of having them pop out at you then just do that all the way across that way it seems a little bit more believable and then we're going to go right into our eyes. Lucky has this purple eyeshadow that she really likes to use. Not many people get to see her eyes because I wear glasses when I play this character. You know, because she's a marksman and she can't see at all. This next thing 
Maybelline Eye Studio. Ah, it's so precious and wonderful. It comes with this applicator that's like really, really precise. And it's just like this creamy, wonderful matte sort of eyeliner. I recommend you go out and buy some or acquire some stat. It's so great. It's like my favorite sort of eyeliner in the entire world. And just go over as just a normal kind of everyday makeup sort of thing because at the end of the day, Lucky is still a girl. No matter how evil and crazy she might be, she's still a girl who likes to wearing makeup. I like to do wings with her just because I, her eyes are sort of exotic to me with those red contacts. And I think that's the finished look. So what you can do when you're doing something like this is cover your uh, your ears or your hairline a little bit. That way it looks a little bit more natural. And Lucky also has freckles. Not many people know this either because uh, the way I do her makeup is really, it's at dark times. I play her during the night. So not many people get to see my makeup, which is a little bit of a shame, but I'm hoping this video can give them some insight in what the hell I do for this character and for Seventh Kingdom. Like I was saying before, it looks a little bit more natural when you cover your ears or cover your hair or hairline because it looks more streamlined like a snake instead of any bit of human in it. Now I'm just modeling. Yeah! Thanks for watching, guys. Cleanup consists of...